Hi, I'm the Articulated Aussie, and today we're doing Modular Iron Man. Now this Iron Man first appeared in Iron Man 300, the comic, and if you haven't read it yet, definitely go out and read it. Any Iron Man fan will be absolutely thrilled to read this one. Not only do you get to see the new first um, appearance of Modular Iron Man, but you get to see five extra suits, these ones right here, all being used by five individuals. So you're getting to see this awesome battle at the end where all these suits are combined to fight one big bad guy, Ultimo. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Modular Iron Man. So you might be wondering, where have you seen this armour before? Not only is it iconic from the comics, but you also have seen it in Marvel vs Capcom. And I guess that's where we get to one of the big disappointing things. I can understand why they didn't, but how mad would it have been to have a full-on proton cannon mounted up onto his shoulder? That'd be absolutely awesome. Another thing that the modular Iron Man suit does have is lots of little extra features, hence modular, like hand blasters, guns, little things that pop out of the side of his suit. It would have been cool to get some of those accessories, but I guess we would have had to go to a deluxe version to get something like that. However, he does have hinged wrists, um, he has open palms, and he has fists. So I guess as compared to some of the other Iron Men we've got lately, this is actually not a bad version. And the gold and the red is just striking in this one. That's absolutely beautiful. Easily going to be in my top five. It's definitely the best armor we've seen all year, in my opinion. But it possibly could even go up a little bit higher. We'll have to see what the rest of the year holds for us. But let's keep going with the unboxing and more importantly, those poses. Mm -hmm. 